baile de favela, a baila é baile de favela. Hey everybody, this is Total Gamer Junkie and I'm welcoming you back to Life is Strange, the final episode of Season 1. So, let's get started. Continue. Yeah, the reason I haven't been talking in my videos is just because of random stuff. And in case any of you are wondering why I tried to warn Victoria in Episode 4, even though I was like such a bitch to her, it's because I'm not gonna lie. Kind of a dick move for me, but I wanted to see. Whoa. I mean, hopefully she does. What did that you makes find? me sound like a bad person. I don't care. Dark room. Over and over. So anyway, um, that's it. Let's, let's finish the final episode. Each other. You know more about this, it's than me. back to some you monster Chloe hunter videos. You know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead. <sighs> Ethan oh, is truly so psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh! <sighs> Life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? Dun dun dun! Choose wisely. I'll choose what I want. I won't choose wisely. opportunity in my opinion that she was there for the whole day until the next night like you know what I mean like it's Friday and it's night time now which is weird because if you choose to sacrifice Chloe then it's like sunset so it's like that's just a little confusing for me or it could be the two moons came out or, or I, I don't know why it just seems a bit weird to me when at the ending the the sky is different. It's like sunset if you sacrifice Chloe and that, but when you're up there and you gotta make that final choice, it's pitch black. Nice. Uh, where is she at? Ah, god damn it, she's not there. Chloe? No, nah, that's a shame. Well, well, she's still gonna die as well, so that's a It's a dark room. I don't remember Max winning that bracelet. Is anybody out there? Please help! Alright. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. 
Almost. Okay, I thought I had to look beyond the pool. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! I, I, I won't lie. This kind of... Freaked me the fuck, yeah, I don't like, I got a little scared. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Yes, Max, move. Get the fuck out of there. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe yeah, right more right. close-ups. Yeah, like Max, like camera, please but, do not no. move yeah. so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Wait, is it? Maybe right, a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter though. I've had my eye on you and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot.
can't believe that happened. So sick. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Whoa. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. Oh, oh, I could try this one. Hey, let's press this might work. Why again? Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. You know, However, never, some Blackwell wanted. students carry it's their like hope and optimism with this. them like, like an aura. Like and those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Yeah, you go, go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. Uh -huh. you the world atheist. is what an artist Your makes. Kind is not welcome and my muse. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Alright. I'm just gonna stop it here and I'll... I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. Born. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip yeah, new drugs from my subjects? Rachel you Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Like, wouldn't there be paperwork Rachel Amber. or something like hmm. some form of That's the thing. real tragedy. Who's that? N
Sorry about that. This is one of the friends now when I'm filming this video. So, he's actually one of the people helping me in my Monster Hunter video before. So, anyways, let's. Ethan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe, and Rachel, and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. 
Well, thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. Uh, hey guys, don't forget the, the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text. I should be able to track down David's number from the school found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't- Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max? That makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Yeah. Group hug. Fucking love, Kate. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Victoria, I'm sorry, you Mr. Jefferson. We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Uh... Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Yes, that's one of the 
things I don't get here. What I'm confused about is that's the second day of the second episode. I don't episode two, you know, the next day Tuesday. And he gets arrested. Yet when you look the photo that the one you gave Jefferson Lee the one, then you end up back in the dark room, which is confusing for me, I just don't understand it. I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Good. Very good. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. Almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Let's see, ten across six letters. Oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Uh, love, Chloe like, and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time so cool. <laughs> when we were uh, innocent. Beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Yeah, acting on this serious tip, David Madison. Jefferson is a person, very cool and apologize for his behavior. Or Bay City College. Thinking on when making life is strange, because I think apparently Max is meant to be a guy originally. You know, but I'm glad they made Max a girl. Like, you know, if Max was a guy, I'd, I'd like for there like, to be an option to like romance Kate, and I think that'd be pretty cool if, if they did that. If Max was a guy. Of course, if I was playing that, I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, you know, I think it'd be cool if there was an option for romance boy, because I don't think she's bi. Yeah, not that there's anything wrong with that. I voted yes. So yeah, you know, equality for all. Yeah, voters. 
so wonderful. Of course, it take a pole then. It's like, what? It's like, that take a bit out. So, like, this is on. Here we go. Yeah, I'm always leaving you with photos. This fucking big score, yeah. No fucking way. You should have won the EH contest. Like Mel Jefferson. Yeah, right. Nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. Be careful. I'm still between realities. Focus on this one for too long. And stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. Uh. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with Is that something that's being gone in there? She's like changing realities, or she's like. Jumping from reality to real reality, you know what I mean? Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Oh, 
Bowser Max, you did it. Somehow, I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Alright, so I'm just gonna end it here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Fellow Gamer Junkie, signing off.